there's, there's plenty of people with machine learning and AI experience who are using that you know, experience in the, the world of marketing or you know, internal operations or corporate processes and things like that. But then for everyone that you speak to who does that, there's other people who are working in real, real world AI issues um, and genuinely making people's lives better or, or working on some, some, some fascinating projects. And, and, and it, it's, it's one thing that I find about data science as an industry is it's surprisingly creative when there's so many technical people. Pretty much everything that, that we work on is, is, is Python based. Um, I can't think of a, a role that we're working on at the moment where candidates don't need strong Python programming experience. What you do, it, it, it varies, you know, if it's more of a research heavy role versus if it's more of an engineering heavy role, obviously there's a, there's a huge difference in terms of the, the level of Python uh, experience that you need. Generally speaking, you know, you hire someone smart as a data scientist, part of what they're motivated by is learning new skills and tools. So if they've got the fundamental kind of base level of knowledge within the field, they'll actually be motivated by learning new things and, and, and they'll pick it up quickly and they'll probably go over and above <laughs> in terms of trying to learn these skills and, and kind of nail them as well because they're fascinated by it.